Hey everybody, welcome to another World of Warships replay, this time in the Amato. Now something I forgot to mention in the previous video is that achievements have been added. Um, you can get certain awards like High Caliber, First Strike, um, things like that, and the reward for them is these little signal flags you can see on my ship here. And what they do is give you certain bonuses to your ship's performance. Some of them increase the amount of credits and experience you get from a battle, some of them improve the recovery time of your uh, repair crew, some of them reduce the repair bill of your ship, so on and so forth. You get a certain number of these from getting particular achievements, and then you can use them on whichever ships you like until you run out. So it's a handy addition to the game, it makes it interesting um, and gives you an incentive to actually, you know, perform decently. Now one other thing I didn't mention is that the update broke two things. The first thing it broke was the aim mod, so now puppy battleships seem incapable of hitting anything at long range. I wonder why. The second thing it broke is the mod I was using to put Rising Suns back on the IJN ships, and so my Yamato doesn't look quite right without it. Um, I did try reinstalling it, but I think they must have changed the name of the texture file or something because it still isn't working. Oh well, it's a minor, minor loss. This is the new map. It's called Hotspot. Um, in the actual game files, if you look at the replay names, it's called Bees to Honey. Now, there are two versions of this map. This one is the Domination version, and the other one is just the standard uh, encounter version with a single cap in the center. I don't think there's a version with two ba- uh, maybe there is a version with two bases, I can't recall. Um, but either way, it spawns the team split in a sort of X shape. Um, and so your team is, is basically halved diagonally across the map, and you need to try and coordinate if you want to have any chance at winning, which makes it a really interesting map, and puppies absolutely hate it. The other thing it has is shallows. Now, shallows... Um, NDA still applies for alpha, so I can't talk in depth about shallows, but I can certainly tell you that I was kind of disappointed to see them not included in the beta. Um, and this map, although they aren't functional, it does include visual shallows, so you can actually see when you're traveling over them the, the bottom of the ocean right on you. Um, I'm not sure whether they plan on making them functional at some point, but it would be very, very nice for gameplay if there were certain areas of different maps where only destroyers and maybe small cruisers could go. There's a big ball of smoke and hatred to the right. The enemy Fletcher is in there, and he is shitting out torps at my entire team. Our nice little flotilla here splits up to avoid them. Target and at the same time, I begin putting some fire on this Kitakami before he can flank around the island here and launch a wall of torpedoes at me. This map is probably my favorite map in the game already. Uh, it's a very pretty map, as you can probably see. The, just the lighting and the color of the water is fantastic. The water on this map is actually also quite clear, so you can very clearly see the bottom in the shallows, and you can also see your ship underneath the waterline. It really gives you a good idea of just how massive these battleships are when you realize how much of them you normally can't see. Now our team has captured the southeasternmost point, and we're capturing the central point, but this Kitakami is going to try and get that southeast point, we've got nothing there to stop him. And what's more, the enemy hold the other three. I whiffed my shot there, I was expecting him to continue his turn instead of stop and reverse it. I will never tire, it, uh, tire of admiring this ship, it's just absolutely fantastic. And it looks even better than usual on this map. Kitakami's pretty much done for. I get ready to fire my final salvo at him, but he goes down as soon as I do fire. The Fletcher has been dealt with.
And so now I turn back across the open water in the center of the map to re-engage the enemy Yamato, as well as the cruiser supporting him, which is a New Orleans, I'm pretty sure. Yep, it's a New Orleans. There's a destroyer off to my left. It's a Benson. However, he's also quite close to one of our cruisers, as well as a friendly Benson. Um, he's got torpedoes in the water around him. It looks like our Benson might have launched at him and missed. Um, now, he's not a big threat to me. At this kind of range, he is not going to be able to hit me with his torps. But I decide to launch a couple of shells his way just to put the wind up him. One of my nine shells hits and knocks a sizable chunk off his hit points. All stations requesting fire on the designated target. With him temporarily scared away, I shift my focus back to the en enemy Yamato, who is down on hit points a bit. Um, I haven't actually taken any damaging shots yet. But he took some from me earlier in the game. We now hold all but one of the points, and our team is pushing that last one. We do outnumber the enemy at this stage, but I'm their only battleship. The enemy have not only this Yamato, but also an Amagi. However, we have four cruisers and two destroyers, so we have the mobility advantage, while the enemy have, to some degree, a firepower advantage. Destroyers technically have an enormous amount of firepower, but only if they can get close enough to use torpedoes, and only if they actually hit. Now, as I close range with the enemy Yamato, I begin to make a series of S-turns. The reason I'm doing this is so that when my guns are loaded, the rear turret is unmasked and can fire at him, and when my guns are reloading, I'm first of all moving towards him a bit quicker, and second of all, I'm at a much better angle to bounce his shells. Uh, once again, the armor system has been revamped, and shells do actually now bounce. Which you will see quite a bit of in a moment here. I get a couple hits in. But he immediately begins repairing himself. I'm not too worried about the New Orleans for now. The New Orleans is not likely to do much damage to me unless he gets very, very close. But the Yamato is a serious threat. You get a decent Citadel hit in there. My scout goes down, it flew too close to the New Orleans, but that's not a problem because we can see all of the enemy ships anyway. And the enemy Yamato begins mimicking me. He turns to unmask his guns. He gets hit a couple times and obviously changes his mind, begins to turn back towards me. And any moment now, we're going to be in secondary range. Because I still have the hit point advantage over him, I'm confident that I can take him out before he kills me, and so closing to point-blank range is going to hopefully work out in my favour. Get another Citadel hit in there, and now he's very low on health. My main problem now is just making sure I don't let him ram me. He gets lit on fire by my secondaries, and they end up actually destroying him. Meanwhile, my teammates have dealt with the Amagi, and so all that's left is the Benson, somewhere else on the map, and this New Orleans. But, we're up on points, and so we've already won. Target penetrated! I pick up a high caliber in the process, and that's the end.